this is this is the first in the fall series of the lectures that uh, Nancy and Jim are doing here at Patina, and I've been uh, chosen to be the first. Well, the story is in your head. You just have to sit down if you want to become a writer and start writing it, and it will all come out. So I, I do this for you people who like to become writers or even painters. You sit down and you start smearing color on, on a canvas, and eventually it will all come out. If there is a record for longevity in the circus, it would have to go to the Flying Squirrel Sisters. Matzo balls. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, they were born in the back of a circus wagon, uh, Siamese twins, separated, their noses were joined together, so it was very easy to separate them. And they performed for the king of the king of Spain, Spain, yes, king yes. Of Spain and uh, the queen, of course, of England. Mm -hmm. And you're still you're still active, and you're still performing without nets. Tell us now, what has been the most exciting moment you've had? Um, let's say in, in your your entire careers. That your mother is still alive. She called and she wants to meet you, Chrissy. And I told her no. Thank you for coming. That's about it. I have nothing more to say. There's more wine, there's more food than, than watch you. around and Bravo! Bravo! Bravo. Bravo. He has performed every style of music that probably um, you can perform. He has played uh, bluegrass. He has played country music. He's played obviously in you know, classical music with symphonies. He plays uh, Celtic music, jazz, any kind of jazz, any kind of rhythm and blues. Um, he just excels at, at just being a natural, down-to-earth person. It's going to be like you're, you're, he's in your living room. Hello, everybody. Hello, John. When I came here, when I did the lecture uh, earlier this year, I had just come back from a bunch of uh, several seminars with a very famous violinist and fiddler, Mark O'Connor, which some of you may know or, or may not, uh, but he's certainly the most well-known of, of, of violinists in the United States that started out as a fiddler as a boy. He, he, he was a, uh, a championship Texas uh, uh, contest fiddler, and that's extremely difficult music. You take uh, simple fiddle tunes and you make them almost like variations, almost like in a classical sense, and make each one more, more and more difficult, and that's how you win Texas fiddling contests. You don't just play a fiddle tune and say that's it. So he had a great teacher and by the time he was 13 or 14 they wouldn't let him uh, enter the contests anymore because he was he had won too many of them in Texas. So uh, he's had an incredible career himself. He uh, discovered jazz and toured with uh, Stefan Grappelli, the famous uh, jazz violinist, by the time he was 20. And uh, he also uh, uh, played in a famous rock band called the Dixie Dregs. He played a rock guitar for them. And uh, then over the past 20 years or so, he's also developed uh, himself as a, as a well-known famous classical player. He's got a, he wrote a concerto called the Fiddle Concerto, uh, which um, blends classical and fiddle tunes and, and melodies, and it's the most performed American violin concerto uh, to date, even though I don't think it's ever been performed here. One of the tricks is Mark's kind of, he's so incredible of a player himself that the pieces he writes, he's about the only one who can do them a lot of times. So he's kind of a modern day Paganini where he writes a piece, but he, if he doesn't show up and do it, then you're probably not going to hear it. He has taken all of his experiences as a violinist and fiddler and turned them into a new string method 
a book for students of any age all over the United States, and that's a new book, and that's what I was doing in Washington, D.C. He was introducing this new string method book, and so I went there as a string educator, not a fiddle player, not anything else, to, to learn about these new books. <laughs> ¶¶